Hi everybody, this is Howard from Ford Return to Fly. Look at this console, isn't that beautiful? The flight velocity console that we put together in the last video. We forgot a couple of things, so we've come back now with a, a few more minutes just to show you some of the things that we didn't show you last time. We were so eager to fly, we just got in and we went flying. So now we're going to go take a look behind the panel, and we're also going to take a look at some of the software we installed to make it all work. And then we can, then we can just uh, go have some fun and go flying again. We're going to start out by taking a look at drivers, software, anything that we had to add to make it better. First, let's have a look at the wiring. Now, the wiring inside here, it may look a little messy, but the key here is to number or letter or label all your wires. If you label them, it's easy to trace them because we're going to tie wrap them all together. You can see here I've got tie wraps everywhere. It's still kind of messy, but it's a little more organized. On the back of the panel, I'm looking behind the panel now. You can see I've actually put the labels on so that I can read them looking over the panel. And then it's easy to undo one cable or even to turn off or on the USB part of it. And that's what you're seeing here. You can see them all just simply labeled with a marker and some masking tape. Tie wraps will help with the mess, even though it can still get pretty messy back there. And that's the wiring part of it. Now you will find that some of those wires, for instance, one of the panels, I did have to turn on and off to make it happen. All right, drivers. Now let's have a look at drivers here. You can see the very first one we're going to do is for the flight multi-panel. Now the flight multi-panels are those big ones, the big, I got three of them there. I got a switch panel, I got a radio panel, and I've got the uh, AP. And those need a driver for that. The second driver we want to look at is for the flight instrument panels. These are the small devices that show you uh, a gauge in each screen. With those two drivers downloaded, you simply run them and everything will work just fine. Very easy to do, very easy to set up, no other software is needed. Now, the Flight Sim Builder software, the launcher, is used to, well, because I have the 530 in here from Flight Sim Builder, that launcher will actually turn on Flight Simulator, and it'll be able to recognize that 530 that's in there. Well, that's it, everybody. That's all we're going to talk about. Just wanted to make sure we finished the whole install.